More Arizona sports teams are set to resume play today, but local sports broadcasters won't have the same setup as usual. Cronkite sports reporter Caleb Bushy explains why. The Arizona Coyotes are headed to Edmonton, Canada to play the Nashville Predators in the qualifying round. But for play-by-play -play announcer Matt McConnell, he won't be going with them. He'll be about 1,400 miles away at Gila River Arena, calling the game off a live video feed. Chance begin over the line. To the front! Stop by Ranta! <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is, is we're either going to raise the scoreboard up to the height of the TV broadcast booths so it's straight across from us, or we're going to lower that big scoreboard. And for McConnell, this workaround is tough to call games. It's kind of like sitting behind the wheel of your car and you're driving down the highway and all you can see, all you can see out of is the driver's side of the front windshield. McConnell isn't alone. Kevin Ray, who calls Phoenix Suns games for Fox Sports Arizona, is getting ready for the 2019-20 NBA season restart in Orlando, but he will be broadcasting from Arizona. His three-point shooting has certainly improved over the last... I think it, it, it is going to increase the level of preparation and certainly is going to, to change and alter how we prep for the game. Fox Sports Arizona will show feeds from the NBA bubble in Orlando, and something similar will happen for the NHL games. Kurt Smith, author of Voices of the Game, a look at the history of baseball broadcasting, says what play-by-play -play announcers are doing today is similar to how broadcasters called games in the 1950s. And so what we're going to see here, I hope, beginning uh, this week, is broadcasters going back to the future. Smith says announcers are going to have to use their imaginations to make the games come alive. And instead of talking about whether a, a pitch is a two-seam fastball or a four-seam fastball uh, or a launch velocity of a, of a fly ball, who cares? No. Tell me, tell me stories. Tell me something I don't know. Make me laugh. Make me interested. That's what I look forward to. And I hope that that's what we see and hear from one broadcaster after another this week. But Stuart Shea, author of Calling the Game, Baseball Broadcasting from 1920 to the Present, is cautious about how these games are called. He says sports teams are limiting media access because of COVID-19, and that could spell trouble for freedom of the press. Journalists used to roaming locker rooms and clubhouses to talk to players and coaches now conduct interviews via Zoom. I think it's a huge red flag, especially now because you've got teams that are actually partners in the media companies that are, that are covering them. Um, you've got, you know, the Yankees uh, own Yes Network, uh, the Mets own SNY. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of stake uh, any of the Phoenix, the, any of the Arizona teams have in Fox Sports Arizona, um, but I'm sure they have some kind of a stake in it. And anytime you've got a team being covered by uh, a media company that it owns, you're going to have a, a decline in the sort of ability of those uh, those workers to be completely free in what they're working on. You know, what's going to be the response? Ray says he hopes by the start of the 2021 season, there will be a better idea of how he can best call the games. You know, I'm, I'm really hopeful at that point we have uh, have a better handle on this and, you know, different protocols, new protocols to be put in place that would allow us as broadcasters at the very least to still be on site to do a game. The Suns and the Coyotes will broadcast games remotely and so will the Arizona Diamondbacks. Caleb Bushy, Cronkite News.